Hey everyone, it's Gretchen here. So I just wanted to share with you a flip through through this journal I've been working on. Um, I can see where I can still use a lot of improvement, but I'm getting better. For the spine, I need to use some more reinforcement, but I tried my first attempt at a signature and a stitch, and it, it came out all right, I believe. So let me just do a quick flip through. I use the Tim Holtz uh, metal corner, page corners, and you just use a pair of pliers and you crimp them down. And then I also used a metal stud from that um, from the Tim Holtz line as well. I did coffee or teeth dye my own papers, and then I just selected various scrapbook or paper to help uh, thick, you know, bulk up the journal itself. A little tuck spot there with a little card from Tim Holtz. A little tuck spot there for when I cut the paper, I just glued the uh, ends down. Now I'm calling this an aged junk journal with a modern twist because what I did was went ahead and did something modern that you would not normally find in journals, and that is I made a dashboard. So hidden were my stitches. I made a pocket, inserted a notebook of paper. I got picked these up at the Dollar Tree and then put the paper in there and then this is basically a kit for my sister to work on and I gave her two choices of sticky flags and I figured she can glue them in here and then I also gave her A pencil and she can either just insert it in there or not or maybe even make a little holder for it so just a nice little modern dashboard and then when everything's glued down she can close it up and see the pencils in in there or even over here on the side and she can wrap it up and then it'll be hidden when she, and she can continue on to journal and no one knows that's even in there it might thicken it up a little bit, but not much. Um, what I'll take away from this is use a little bit thicker paper if, when I do the next, you know, journal with a, a dashboard. So I'm going to leave that in there. And shut this back up so I don't yank the string. I just use eyelets and see how the paper's a little flimsy there. But that's what's great when you make something for a friend or for a family member. Um, you don't feel so guilty if it's not not the way you exactly want it. Yeah, I could definitely use a little bit more thinking in that department there. And then some great journaling pages. Another tuck spot. This is actually two-sided paper, and I just cut it so the lines, so she can write on it. Another little spot here that she can just tuck card into. That's actually a, um, a die cut that I ran through and then just glued it down. I wanted to see what it looked like. It's very pretty. And here is the back. So what I did was put an eyelet in through the back and using the same hemp cord that I made my signature with, I just knotted it and put one of these medallions in from the uh, 
uh, Tim Holtz collection and ran it through so that way the string doesn't come out. Now I really left this kind of uh, naked, you could say, because I just knotted a ring on there. I added some charms and these are all just hand knotted and then she can take them apart if she wants and can then do it her, you know, what she wants to do. I left it basically for her to work on. Um, and very loose. And as she adds to it and puts pockets in it, it will, it will get bulkier and then this ring will stay on there. Now you can see there's a, quite a bit of um, gap right there. So that is the basis of the journal. I did, now I have this little, well, I'll start from the beginning. I have this bag of goodies I'm going to give her. And I picked up this Faith Ephemera Collage Kit at Tuesday morning. They have them out in all different kinds. So she can decorate it with this. I'm going to give her one of these little packs of stickers I picked up at AC Moore. And there you can see the bulk of these stickers. They're probably nearly a half inch. And that's going to help fill up and make that gap close in a little bit better. And then too, like I said, this is just hand knotted. And she can move that, that ring or take it off. It's her journal. She can do what she wants with it. And then I included some other goodies for her. Um, she picked out these numbers. These are from Tim Holtz to Brad's, and they are certain Bible scriptures she likes. Her pencil, I'm going to give her a little uh, mini glue by um, Martha Stewart Crafts so she can glue her stuff in. Just a little paper clip, that's from that smash. Came in a set, I think, of four from Tuesday morning. And then I'm going to add some cute little paper clips. for her to put in her journal that will kind of match well it will match the music notes in there some cute spring ones and again she can add all this I thought about putting a belly band maybe in the dashboard and then attaching all the paper clips but she can do what she wants with them I'll let her let her decide what she wants to do let me put these in this bag so I don't lose them because this is all going to be given to her and she can do what she wants with it. So getting some paper clips. One of these smash clips that's magnetic. I did make some little tags, some tickets. I don't know if she wants them or not, but she's going to get them. I made her little pocket that somewhat matches the cover. I'm going to give her these little tags here. This is from that Graphic 45 paper. I made a uh, pocket for her that she can slip things into if she wishes. And I did a tutorial on this. And there I left that open so when she glues it down she can put in there what she sees fit. Here are some tags that I used the Distress Ink on and rubbed it. And then this is a napkin with a Mod Podge. And then another pocket for her to use. I made a bunch of things. Uh, another pocket. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. That looks like I can pull that right out of there. I can't. Another little tag, a little ticket. These are just um, a sheet of paper that I got at Tuesday morning in those packs of 25, I think it is. And I just cut them up and she can use them or recycle. I, I don't much care what she does with them. You see there, I got a good many out of it. And then some of these journaling cards again from Tim Holtz. I have some more of the napkin. I'm going to just add this old glassine bag in there. This is a piece of vellum. And she's really into bees and such, so hopefully she can look at that. 
I'm going to give her some doilies to put in there. She can glue down. And then I got more of these tags. So that is my, um, oh, um, do I have the, I might have it right here. I featured this in a tutorial I did yesterday. Um, let me get you the page. So it was just basically these postcards. I glued down a page from another, from one of the maps. And then I cut them out. And just cute little postcards she can write on. And I think I did take, did I take Distressing Ink? Yes, I did. And just distressed them a little bit. And then I die cut a piece of vellum for her to put wherever she wants. And so what I want to do is just package this all up for her and hand it over and let her have fun with it. So I just wanted to share. It's nice to have a recording of, you know, something. If you ha if I have a question, I can go back and look at it because once it's out of my hands, it's gone. So anyways, again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye.